right. I'm on the lookout for Edward. He's somewhere in the neighborhood. I'm trying to do this the whole time. So we do need to go get an x-ray. If you don't listen to me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. We have 15 t-shirts and we're gonna turn these all custom. Katie, are you gonna tell us what you have to tell us? Because now I'm ready to hear it. I wouldn't believe my life if you knew everything that happened in my life. <laughs> That's what's going on in the front of my house right now. I'll show you in a minute, but they're digging a very, very deep hole. We are leaving our house for the week because it's commissioning week. And those of you guys who've been watching for a long time know that the Naval Academy is near where we live. And every year um, for commissioning week, which is Naval Academy graduation, um, families come in from all over the country and some from around the world to celebrate their Naval Academy graduates, which means they're getting commissioned into the Navy. Anyway, it's a huge big deal in our town. It's a very big um, like attraction, like there's so many people come into the town. So a lot of the locals will leave and um, the Naval Academy families will like rent their house out for commissioning week. So we've been doing that for years and years and years, and we're doing that now. And as it turns out, <laughs> the very week that we're supposed to be renting our house out, the county decided that they should put a new water main on our roads. So that was awesome. So I spoke with the um, head of that and said, hey, if there's any way that you could sort of, you know, get it done before our people come, that'd be great. So they're working very hard to get it done, which is nice. I just gave them some cookies. So we have to park our car elsewhere because we can't park our car in front of the house because there's so much construction going on. So anyway, the kids are at school. Mike and I have been uh, moving out of the house. We pretty much move everything, like all of our clothes, everything. But we um, put them in closets and stuff. So my car's way up here. We just had our cleaning people clean. So they, I, we left them the parking space in front of our house. Anyway, it's been nuts. This whole thing has been nuts. So there's Mike right there waiting for me at the top of the hill. And I gotta get into my car. This is some food that was left over. So also the cats can't be at the house for commissioning week, obviously, because we're renting the place out. So um, we take the kitties to boarding, we board them. So I was just able to get Alice over, but Edward escaped, so I don't know where Edward is. So I had to try to find Edward before the renters come in so he doesn't surprise them on the front porch. So um, I'm on the lookout for Edward. He's somewhere in the neighborhood. They're supposed to check in at four and um, I gotta get him out by then. And now it is, I think it's 1.30. Um, I just took Alice over, took Brennan to work. The town is busy, crazy, crazy busy. So it was really crowded and then um, went to the grocery store to get some last minute items. We leave flowers for them and wine and that kind of thing. Been doing that. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna go live. We rented a place across town, so we're gonna go live over there for the week, well, for a few days actually. And then we go, as we do every year, to uh, my sister's beach house for Memorial Day weekend. Our whole family gets together. So in between, prom, first con uh, confirmation, uh, Katie's orientation, cheer tryouts, graduation, all that stuff. We're moving out of our house. <laughs> yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> all right, so I can't remember if I told you guys we were having trouble finding Edward. But the project manager who was taking care of the road found Edward for us, which is awesome. So we got him in his carrier. Ryan has um, Edward and we have a little treat for him, a little treat that's gonna help calm him down. Mm -hmm. But he's never taken them before. The vet said that he should probably take it if he has, you know, to be boarded or whatever. He's not too keen on them. Not too keen on it. So I don't know. Maybe they'll figure out a way to get it into him if he needs it. Sweet little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Today has been a doozy of a day, I don't mind telling you. Hi, buddy. Hi love. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You just going out and go back in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can't fit his whole body through there, do you think? No. Okay. But keep your hands there just in case. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> All right, it's never a dull moment here. So we just moved into our, whoops, did that light work? 
We just moved into the place where we're staying and we'll give you a tour of that later. But right now, the most important thing is what just happened to Mike. So Mike was moving some stuff in. What happened, baby? Went down the I was stairs. All happy. I was happy. Yeah, of course you were. You're a happy guy. What you get for being happy? Yeah. Oh, honey bun. I should be more miserable. Yeah, that's probably a this better idea. idea. Exactly. This is what happens. He thinks he might have um, torn his Achilles tendon, just like I did five years ago. Terrible feeling, huh? It is a terrible feeling. So, the, so we do need to go get an X-ray. And when you walk, you know, you really want to be able to walk. Yeah. Big part of moving around. Yes, it is. Good thing you're a swimmer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right? That's the thing I thought of. Hey, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. I know that you're like. <laughs> laid up? Please have to go. <laughs> oh my gosh, Katie Elizabeth. So, Katie has her senior sports award banquet this evening. Yeah, and that's exciting. It's very exciting. She's all dressed up and cute as a button. That looks great. And, and dad has um, an injury. And we just moved into the house. And you guys know that we just found Edward. Like, the hits keep on coming. Like, it's up, down, up, down. My days have been insane, all of us. But we're here. And it's all good. Uh, first, right. I had to go wrangle a tiger. And now one of our <laughs> own is uh, now one of our own is injured. He's down and out. Yep. I don't mean to poke fun. Me. What you should do, though, because I've been here before, you should take an Advil or a Tylenol, too, because eventually it's going to hurt a little. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. but but not, not well, maybe terribly. Yes. Me. Good call, Mikey. Yeah. Now, why up there? You feel it up there? Uh, I feel it all over. Okay. Okay. Did Good we already for you. explain that this is kind of the same injury that you had when you tried gymnastics? Yes. Yeah, but Dad just walked down the stairs. <sighs> I at least... Did gymnastics. I, 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 I was hopping. I was like um, poop. Uh, tigger. I was like tigger. Boop, 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 boop. Boom. Oh, honey. Okay, so let's get in the I car. I was passed out because. Yes. You know, oh, God. You know how bad I am with injuries. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So. Oh, my gosh. If I can find the video where we talk about it, I'll put it in here. I'm but... sorry to see I've been down this road. I've never taken a little break, <laughs> oh, so I lay down on the floor. That was a good call. Yeah. That was a good call. Okay, so hold on, everybody. Stay tuned. So Mike is insisting on going to Katie's banquet. How many, secret, how many senior athletic banquets do you get to go to? I understand, and I agree well, with you. Well, you three. <laughs> <laughs> Not last year. They didn't do one for Brendan last They've year. They've actually never done a senior athletic banquet. So this is the first one. Oh, all right then. There you have it. Okay. Hey, what's for dinner? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to be there for three and a half hours. Oh, that's so. a long time. So excited. I can't wait to waste my time in the school cafeteria. Yay! Wait a minute. I thought it was going to be at the... Uh, um, listen. Oh, it's not at the school cafeteria. It's at the it? church. It's at a church. Yeah, Presbyterian yeah. Uh, Evangelistic. Where is that? Is that close to here? Yeah. yeah. Actually, very close to where we are. That's really awkward. <laughs> yeah. Really close to where we are. Um, anyway. <laughs> All of a sudden you show up and there's nobody there. <laughs> and, uh, guys? Um... You're not listening. I've been trying to tell you this the whole tell time. Tell me, tell home. me, and then I have to tell everybody. I have to tell my vlog something. Go ahead. What did you tell everybody? Yeah, help me out. While you're doing that, I'm going to tell. So, oh, you guys, like this is a deal. I have been supposed to edit this video for two straight <laughs> days. Yesterday, I was having huge computer problems, and Mom, it was Mom. not working. Finally, oh I went God. to bed at 1.30 in the morning, not done. Today, I woke up and spent all day moving out of the house and moving here, and I was supposed to edit, but we couldn't find Edward the cat, so we had to go find <laughs> Edward the cat before the boarding thing closed at 6. We found Edward, brought him to the boarding thing. I came home. I was supposed to edit before the banquet, and now Mike severs his... <laughs> Achilles <laughs> tendon. And I haven't even showered yet. And we're supposed to go to this thing. So that's why you haven't had a video in Can about four or five days. And I so apologize. So I'm going to put something up on the community. Oh. Yes, I will listen to you. Why don't you stop right there and put to be continued? Stop right where? Where you are on the, on on the, the video? Yeah, just put it up. No, because it, no, it's a whole, no, okay, okay. I can't do Can that. Can you listen to me now? Yes, oh my gosh, yes. I'm trying to do this the whole time. Brennan's but... working, by the way. And Ryan, uh, he's supposed to be doing his Brian. homework. Katie, come I... here. Sorry, Katie. I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh, Mom, I don't want to add another thing to your plate, but you also have to teach me how to customize t-shirts. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ryan has to make twelve t-shirts tonight for the what dodgeball tournament you're having tomorrow? It's a kickball tournament. A kickball tournament. Ryan, it's not gonna work, man. I'm a, I, what? I'm a man of my word. I told my <laughs> well, boy. listen. You better start doing your homework because I told you I wasn't gonna do any t-shirts until you got your homework done. Where are the t-shirts? <laughs> he brought them in. They were in the car. I know. But do you, we're using the cricket to make new t-shirts. <laughs> we need a printer. <laughs> no cricket. We have the cricket. Oh. Yeah. 
Well, he does need a printer to fill out his application. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Job application, Katie. And we have to email your English teacher back who emailed and said, hey, by the way, your student hasn't turned anything in yet. So we uh -oh. have to come up with a plan. So I was in the middle of emailing him back when all of a sudden Ever the Cat was found. <laughs> so I couldn't continue the email. <laughs> so now... So basically... We've had a really laid back day. We kind of don't know what to do with them. <laughs> exactly. We have so much we, time on our hands. We're looking for just stuff to do. So oh my gosh. Just, <laughs> my head's about to pop off. Katie, are you going to tell us what you had to tell us? Because now I'm ready to hear. Oh, now you're ready. I promise I'll be quiet. I'll listen. If you don't listen to me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> huh? Sounds like a Hallmark card. <laughs> I'm divorcing you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Huh? All right, Kate. We're breaking up. We're breaking you should up. Have break up cards. That's a good idea. That's a good way to break up. Instead of yeah. actually going up to somebody, send just them send them a card. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't care enough to send the Look, very it's best. It's a nice card. <laughs> just, just slip a fiver in there. That's so like messy. No, I would put a lottery ticket. I'd scratch out Good luck. Ticket. If you say, hey, I, I'm breaking up with you, good luck. Yes, and if you win 50 grand, I get that. Exactly. Yeah, right. Good luck yeah. with that. <laughs> All right, Katie, what did you have to say, love? I got 100% of my physics test today. Congratulations! And it got me up to 100% in the class. Congratulations, oh, Katie! Great. Congratulations. And now I'm done with physics forever. <gasps> Are you serious? Hey, maybe you should become a physician. I said... <laughs> <laughs> I told her she should be an engineer. Why should you be a scientist? Because I hated physics. You're oh. very good at it. I loved Mr. Schiller, though, but I hated physics. Anyways, um... So now I have 100% in the class, and I'm done for good, and because Blangels is Wednesday, so. Yeah, so Katie, so so tell how many school days of school you have left. Three. Three days of school left. How about your D? You have a D in calculus? No, I don't. I have a C in calculus. <laughs> is that going to get better? Yeah. No. Why? But it's fine, because I won't get a D. <gasps> Why have a C in calculus, Katie? Because he decided to do that thing where he teaches us a, like, a bunch of new material, even though like none of us were taking the AP test yeah. and we were literally like done. AP tests were over and he continued to teach new material. Well, he's allowed to do that. Well, it's just a bad look because <laughs> no one else does that. Like no other teachers do that. Ryan, are you doing any homework at all right now? Yes, ma. Thank you. Ma. 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 All right, Mike just hobbled up the stairs and he, look at him. He won't go to the doctor. Watch him try to walk down the stairs. Ready? Thank you. <laughs> he won't go get an x-ray. The Lord heals and doctors bill you for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ever heard that before. I heard that somewhere. Is that right? Yeah, made me laugh. I'm wondering why you're bringing your Yeti. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at you. It makes it hard. You've got your Yeti in your man purse. Why are you laughing? I'm just laughing. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good, how are you? So Mike decided not to go to the doctor. He's starting to feel a little bit better. Yep. So he's sitting over on the couch with his leg up. Ryan and I, on the other hand, are working with our cricket machine. Yes, sir. Tell everybody what we're doing, my guy. So basically there's this uh, kickball tournament at our school and I'm making shirts for one of the teams. Uh, because my boy asked me to, and I said yes, and I'm a man of my words, so I'm getting it done. And me and mom are getting it done, really. So, uh, we have 15 t-shirts right here, and we're going to turn these all uh, custom. And what and time is it? 10 o'clock? It's 10 o'clock, yeah. I was hoping on starting this earlier, but yeah, the day has been so crazy, we had to start it now. So, uh, we're going to get it done, though. It's going to be great. Yes, we're very excited about it. So, mm -hmm. stay with us, and we'll show you what they look like when we're done. Let's go. 15 of them, huh? Here we go. Here you go. You're becoming a businessman right now. What's up? Yeah. Well, it's not, yeah, yeah, it's not making, yeah, it's making the print for the t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Okay, sick or sig? Oh yeah, I bet you will. I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> All right, injury boy is gonna go to bed. What made you happy today, Michael John? Um, hanging out with you before. Is that right? Yeah, loved it. Fantastic. Enjoyed we it. had a little cut. Oh, that's it. All right. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, I really think he should get an x-ray, but he's a little stubborn, so he's not going to get an x-ray. Ryan, on the other hand, is cutting out the um, decals. So far, we're doing two things. We're doing a, like a little logo and then a, a name, like the team name, and then we're going to try to do numbers on the back as well. So that is the team name, and now we're going to print the logos next, and then we'll do the numbers. Let's go. Ryan's friend's team is called the Imposters. So we've been peeling these off. So we have 12. Actually, I think I might have said in the beginning we had 15, but we actually have 12 shirts. And then they're using this logo, which you guys might recognize if you do. Comment down below what you think that is. And I'm in the midst of peeling all these off. Why are you laughing? This is embarrassing. <laughs> it's not embarrassing because it's a joke, obviously. But it's embarrassing if it, if you have no context. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, oh my gosh! It is one thirty in, in the morning. Dude, no, don't make shirts. Just hire people. It's so much easier. Don't start it at ten o'clock at night. It's We're that worth, way. It's not worth your time. Your time is more valuable than this, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually fun. We just had fifteen. We did not count on being up this late. Doing yeah, if you are gonna do them. Yeah, uh, start earlier do in the them day. With, do them with someone you know and someone you trust. Exactly. And someone you don't mind spending three hours. Like four exactly. Hours four hours. Is that four hours ish? Yeah. It's, it's a while. Oh my gosh. All right. What made you happy today, my guy? <laughs> made me happy today was getting these done <laughs> and uh, having a successful move, you know, from our house and getting, uh, getting the cats all situated and oh. everything. Finding Edward actually was the best part. I think so. That was my, uh, me too. That's what made me happy today. A lot of things made me happy. Certainly not Mike hurting himself, but um, definitely finding Edward and doing that with Ryan was really fun because um, I'm glad we were a team there because when we found him, he had to go sort of like pounce up on him and he got him. So that was good. Happy to do that. All right, you guys, I'm exhausted. It's been, it's been a day. I want to go to bed and start fresh tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.